Hey guys, got a really quick video for you here today on the modifications I did to my Condor Mini Bush Lure. Now, just a disclaimer, I am not um, affiliated with Condor. I am not sponsored by Condor. These are my honest opinions about Condor, and they are a beautiful company. These guys are made. They're made to last, guys. These guys will probably outlast you, and for the price, you can't beat it. You just can't beat it. These knives are just smoking good. They're such good knives. I actually had a commenter um, get on there and tell me that uh, because of my video, he's going to buy some Condors. I'm so happy to hear that. Let me know. If you're watching this video, let me know what you think of them. Um, these are just they are so good. Highly recommend if you guys are going to go off a company, just one company for the rest of your life, I would recommend Condor. That's how much I love them. The Condor Bush Lore, which is the two I have here, I had a little problem with the mini one. It wasn't a big problem. It's just something that you might want to consider when buying this knife. The big one, right, looks fine. They thought, well, let's just squish it down and make a smaller one, which is great. It's a great knife. I have no complaints. I carry it every day. The problem is, is that right here, you see the slip that goes down. And on most hands, you know, it's not a problem. When you squish it down, when you squish down this knife and you go to grab it, the problem is my pinky sits on the top here. And then slowly, over extreme use, mind you, it will start to start seeping in and then what it does is it makes my pinky go numb I don't like that it you know it, it was really annoying now granted that is under a lot of use right like when I'm out doing camping and stuff and I'm not just you know cutting potatoes I'm like chopping wood you know the knife it, it just it makes eventually my pinky goes sleeping right and I don't I really don't like that so I did a easy modification I grinded it off using a belt sander now, as you see, it goes up instead of down, right? And now when I get a full grip on this thing, it feels way better and my pinky has more room to grab onto. That being said, what I did was I took a belt sander and I dipped this thing in water and I just, you know, grinded it up and then I took some sandpaper and just fine tuned it, you know, to get looking up the snuff and it looks perfectly, looks really good. And I love this knife. So that was my modification that I did. Hopefully that helps you guys. Um, if you're like, well, I don't wanna buy the knife now if it's gonna be like that, don't do, whoa, 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 whoa. If you're gonna buy this knife, I still 100% recommend that this knife is amazing. I'm just saying, if you got you know medium to big hands or really skinny hands, um, that is something to consider. It's a really easy fix. I did it and I'm not that good with woodwork, so. If I can do it, I guarantee you guys can do it. Just need a belt sander and some water and a little bit of time, and you got yourself a easy modification. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully this has been helpful. Please let me know. Um, yeah, like and subscribe.